So we're going to be getting to all that. But since I mentioned Gruber, here's a mashup of Gruber. And of course, we have the latest clips where he just smiles and goes and says, get used to it. <laughs> get used to it. We're just going to up the, up the penalties. Remember, there are no penalties. Every news channel, it's crazy. It's a conspiracy. You're a racist. It was in the bill. They don't care. They passed it. And now they sit there and giggle because they're the Ivy League white shoe boys and laugh at you and your family while they try to shut the economy down to consolidate it in their own words. So here's Gruber laughing at you. Who exactly is Gruber? What was his role in crafting Obamacare? I don't know who he is. He didn't help write our bill. Most people think he's one of the best outside experts, Mr. Gruber of MIT. I don't know if you have seen Jonathan Gruber of MIT's analysis. And so... Jonathan Gruber is one of the most respected economists in the world. He attended five of the 12 meetings at the Obama White House in 2009, including the meeting with the president. I was a paid consultant to the Obama administration to help develop the technical details of the bill. Six million dollars in consulting fees on Obamacare. Who knew you could make so much money working for the government, huh? And uh, so... The, the fact that some advisor... An advisor. An advisor. Who never worked on our staff. I've stolen ideas from liberally. John Gruber. Obama's a little more relaxed. I think he took a cigarette break halfway through. Uh, expressed an opinion that... Uh, I completely disagree with, with uh, in terms of the voters. That pass. It's very hard to student understand. You know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. It's a very clever, you know, basically exploitation of the of the of the lack of economic understanding of the American voter. There's no reflection on the actual process that was run. And the only way we could take it on was first by mislabeling it. And John Kerry said, no, 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 we're going to tax your health insurance. We're going to tax those evil insurance companies. Gruber, who has been our guide on a lot of this. But we all know it's really a tax on people who hold those insurance plans. I think it'll, it's fair to say that there was not a, a provision in the health care law that was not extensively debated. The, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. Mr. Gruber of MIT, he's got big computer models, he takes the CBO data, and frankly, in some respects, he's helped CBO by help giving some information at CBO that otherwise does not have. He had a law which said healthy people are going to pay in, it made explicit the healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Uh, and was fully transparent. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And over time, it's applied to more and more health insurance plans. And so... How can that make sense?